Hello students. So this is the continuation of the lesson periodic classification of elements. So in this session, let us start studying about Dobereiner's triads. So in the year 1817, the German chemist by the name Dobereiner, he tried to arrange the elements based on the similar chemical properties into groups and he created such groups and each group consisting of three elements were called as triads i repeat so in the year 1817 the german chemist by the name called dobreiner he arranged the elements with the similar chemical properties i mean the elements which are having similar chemical properties were arranged into group for example take this is one group okay there are three elements which are having the same chemical properties the elements may be imagination right the elements may be a b and c and he created three such group how many groups he has created three such groups and each group contains the three elements and he call that group as triad for example this this is a group and this group is consisting of three element and now this group is called as triad and he also showed when these three that is for example a b c these three elements of the triad if they were arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass for example increasing means it is followed by 1 2 3 right it is increasing right so if they were arranged in the increasing order of their atomic mass the atomic mass of the middle element was roughly the atomic mass of the other two elements there are three elements totally right element a element b and element c the atomic mass of this middle element was roughly the atomic mass of the other two elements we will understand in the next slide how it is roughly average or equal to other two elements okay so now uh, let us look at a table to understand better about dobereiner triad so if you look at this table as i told you the dobereiner created three such triads okay and you can see that the three triads are also having three three elements there were totally how many elements by the time the dobereiner started to uh, arrange the element there were totally 33 elements okay but he found three triads how many elements uh, are present in each triad there are three elements totally there are nine elements in three triads so now the thing is which you have to understand this triad as i told you that uh, the law of the dobereiner triad actually it is so it it says that the atomic masses in the triad that is the atomic masses of the middle element was roughly the average of the atomic masses of other two elements i mean if this is the one triad let us consider this is the first triad this triad consisting of three elements and the atomic uh, mass of the lithium is 6.9 almost it is 7 also sometimes and sodium is 23 and the potassium is 39 okay so now what is uh, how do we find the average of the middle element is so if you add the first and the third elements atomic mass you get the average of the middle element for example see 7 plus 39 first and third element i have added and divided by 2 you get the average the mass of the middle element it sometimes it will be equal sometimes it will be nearer almost and closer to that element okay it is not exactly same uh, in all the cases so if we look at the next triad that is consisting of calcium strontium and barium so the calcium uh, atomic mass is 35 and the iodine is at 126.5 sometimes it varies 9 also so if you add the atomic mass of chlorine and iodine you get the atomic mass of bromine it will be almost equal or closer as i told you see if you add 35.5 and 126.5 if you divide by 2 you get 81 this 81 is almost nearer to the mass of bromine as i told you it is not always exactly same it will be closer to the particular element that is the bromine so the one more example uh, the next triad was the calcium strontium and barium 
so followed by their atomic numbers is 40 87 and 137 and if you add the atomic mass of calcium and barium the atomic mass of the strontium is equal or roughly average of the other two elements that is calcium and barium you can see here that is 137 plus 40 that is the mass of calcium and barium if you divide by 2 you get 88 see this 88 is almost it is uh, closer to that of the strontium okay hope you are clear with this So, as I told you that there were 33 elements when Dauberina started to arrange the um, elements in the periodic table. But, the law of triad or the Dauberina's law of triad was not applicable for all the 33 elements. It was failed to arrange the, I mean Dauberina failed to arrange all the 33 elements into triads. He could able to arrange only 3 triads, I mean each triad consisting of 3 elements. Such triads, he found out three triads. So totally his law was applicable for only nine elements, not for all the 33 elements. So Dauberiner could not explain the law of triads to all the 30 elements. It was valid only for three elements, sorry, three triads, that is for nine elements. Okay, so what happened? His arrangement of um, the elements in the periodic table was later it has been um, changed by another scientist that is by Newland's law of octaves. So in my next session, I'll be explaining you about the Newland's law of octaves, how the Newland arranged the elements. What is Newland's law of octaves? We are going to study that in detail. Okay. Thank you.